Queen Elizabeth II's relationship with Yugoslavia was always a warm one. In 1945, Elizabeth, then just Princess of York, was the godmother of Prince Alexander Karagegeorgievich II, son of exiled Yugoslav King Peter II. Karagegeorgievich was the last heir of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia before the family were disposed by communist authorities when he was just four months old. Some believe, though, the relationship wasn't what it seemed. When the British government and the British royal elite were favourable to Yugoslavia, it was usually when it benefited them or their force to do so. There were never explosions of friendship, as we sometimes would like to believe. The Serbian royal family lived a life of exile in London, never received neither adequate nor sufficient help from those whom they allied themselves with, although they didn't have to. The Cold War imposed the United Kingdom to strengthen ties with the Communists and former partisan commander Joseph Broz Tito. The Queen paid her first state visit in 1963. Despite differing politics, the royal family ensured it was not a barrier to international friendship. Yugoslavia became a neutral socialist country, a de facto which started looking westwards.